vaccine that's been announced today mean that we are at the beginning of the end of our troubles. So let me set out our assessment. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine has been tested on over 40,000 volunteers and interim results suggest it is proving 90% effective at protecting people against the virus. But we haven't yet seen the full safety data and these findings also need to be peer reviewed. So we've cleared one significant hurdle, but there are several more to go before we know the vaccine can be used. What I can say is that if and when this vaccine is approved, we in this country will be ready to start using it. Earlier this year, the UK government ordered 40 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine, enough for about a third of the population, since you need two doses each. And that puts us towards the front of the international pack on a per capita basis. And I should add that we've ordered over 300 million doses from five other vaccine candidates as well. If the Pfizer vaccine passes all the rigorous safety checks and is proved to be effective, then we will begin a UK-wide NHS-led program of vaccine distribution. We will decide the order in which people are offered the vac vaccination, taking account of recommendations from a group of scientific experts, the Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation. And they're looking at a range of factors, including the different characteristics of different types of vaccines to work out the most effective way to protect as many people as possible and save as many lives as we can. And we'll be setting out more detail about that in due course. But, and you know I'm going to say this, I must stress that these are very, very early days. Uh, we've talked for a long time, or I have, about the distant bugle of the scientific cavalry uh, coming over the brow of the hill. I can tell you that tonight that toot of that bugle is louder, but it's still some way off. We absolutely cannot rely on this news as a solution, and the biggest mistake we could make now would be to slacken our resolve uh, at a critical moment, because on Friday, uh, Sage reported that the R is above one in England, uh, though that doesn't take account of the current uh, national restrictions. Alas, the death figures are rising, are running at an average of 300 a day, sadly double uh, where they were 24 days ago. The number of COVID patients in hospital has risen to, uh, from just over 10,000 two weeks ago to nearly 13,000 on the 5th of November, and we're heading uh, towards the levels of the, of the previous peak. Irrespective of whether there is a vaccine on the way or not, we must continue to do everything possible right now to bring the R down. And that's why uh, we hope and believe that matching will help. And our first pilot began in Liverpool on Friday in partnership with Liverpool City Council. We've tested thousands of people there, but there's still a lot more to do. So please, if you are in Liverpool, get yourself along to a testing centre. There are 19 at the moment, with more still to come. And the more people get tested, the better we can protect that great city and drive uh, the disease down in Liverpool. So do it for your friends, uh, for your relatives, for your community. And I want to thank the fantastic support of the the, arm, the army uh, of the people of Liverpool, uh, Liverpool City Council, and we're now going further by sending out hundreds of thousands of rapid lateral flow tests to local authorities right across England and also, of course, to the devolved administrations. We're working uh, with universities to establish, as soon as possible, similar mass testing capacity for students up and down the country. We've secured uh, a large proportion of the, uh, of the, of the supply that uh, Pfizer will be, uh, will be making, uh, in addition to the, uh, the 300 uh, million other doses of other types of, of, of vaccine that we've, we've also uh, sec secured, uh, if they come good. And I think one of the, uh, one of the interesting things that uh, the, the most 
fascinating thing that Jonathan uh, has said uh, to my mind this, this, this evening is that this, this vaccine uh, offers a, a ray of hope for all those other uh, vaccines if it really works because it targets the S protein of, uh, of, of coronavirus. It doesn't just create antibodies and that, that seems to me to be very, very interesting. But it is crucial that we do not overdo it. We cannot uh, let our enthusiasm uh, tonight uh, run away with us, folks. I'm very, very sorry uh, to say this. It's more vital uh, than ever now that we follow the, the basics, uh, that we wait and see whether this uh, vaccine uh, lives up to uh, its promise. Uh, we continue with the measures we have in place until December the 2nd, when they will uh, expire, and we continue with the, with the basic guidance. Uh, I, I just don't want to... Um, let people run away with the uh, idea that this uh, development today is necessarily uh, a, a home run, a slam dunk, uh, a, a shot to the back of the net. Yet, uh, I, I think that's, that's how uh, I feel about it. I think we, we've got a way to go, uh, Tom. Uh, is it good news? Of course it's good news, but uh, there's, a, there's a long way, a long way, I'm afraid, before we've got this thing beat.